क्वेश्चन नंबर 11 पिक किया गया है फ्रॉम द टॉपिक रोटेशन देयर इज अ स्लेंडर मास ऑफ लेंथ एल एंड व्हिच इज स्टैंडिंग वर्टिकली ऑन अ परफेक्टली स्मूथ सरफेस इट स्टार्ट्स स्लिपिंग एंड एट एनी पोजीशन इट मेक्स एन एंगल थीटा विद द वर्टिकल और ये जो पोजीशन दी गई है दिस इज एट एनी गिवन इंस्टेंट on the basis of this particular fact we need to see which is the correct option the first one says instantaneous torque about point of contact with the floor is directly proportional to sin theta verify karte option number a verify karne ke liye at any given position this is the situation instantaneous torque dekhni hai let's make the free body diagram and this is mg here we got to be careful angle theta is measured with respect to vertical torque about this point would be produced only by mg so that torque would be mg sin theta multiplied by l by 2 so with this particular fact option number a goes with the correct deal trajectory of point a is a parabola let's try to see the first thing that we have to understand is is given situation mein jo total forces rod pe act ho rahe wo keval mg or n hai there are no other forces apart from this and initial speed of the center of mass is zero and one interesting thing what we can see is that since initial speed is zero of the center of mass and the force is purely along y direction so the center of mass will have an acceleration only along y direction together before concluding option number b we can come up with the conclusion that center of mass would fall vertically downwards under this particular condition so i can see option number c would directly be voted because the center of mass will fall vertically downward in absence of initial velocity and in absence of force along x direction so option number c would be correct iska ye matlab hai if this is the initial line now you could see that one more thing i have to add that this initial point has been given as the origin to ye saaf clear hai the center of mass would always be above the origin because it is bound to fall only in the vertical direction अब एक काम करते हैं। Let's try to see the point A which is here, and we'll now try to verify option number B. In terms of the coordinate of option number A, you could see this is theta, so this angle would of course be pi by two minus of theta. Let's try to see the x coordinate. Let's try to see the y coordinate. Y coordinate of A would be straight vertical line, or वो होगा l cos theta we can go with the capital l that's given or x coordinate of a you could see this is l sin theta minus of l by 2 sin theta so that will be l by 2 sin theta now you could straight way see x square by l by 2 whole square plus y square by l square equals to 1 so the trajectory of point a would be an elliptical one Therefore, option number B would be incorrect. Let's go with option number D. When the bar makes an angle theta with vertical, yani is given position mein, the displacement of its mid is directly proportional to 1 minus cos theta. That's very true. Kyunki midpoint is falling only along the vertical direction. The initial displacement or the initial position of the mid with respect to origin is L by 2. And the final position is this particular height and that would be straight way L by 2 cos theta and displacement would be this and you could see this particular value is directly proportional to 1 minus cos theta. So option number D would be voted in. So is tarike se hum dekh sakte question number 11 ke liye jo correct options hai wo hai option number A, option number C and D. So this was about question number 11. Now let's move. To question number 12.